In this video, we'll be looking at summing non inverting op-amps. These ones are quite um, less intuitive compared to the other ones because of them are just doing basic math. I think they'll take and make sure before you engage in the video that you have done something like super positioning theorem that will be taking use of uh, solving this problem or deriving the equation for this specific schematic so so with um with with superposition first we want to find uh first first we know that whatever v that we supply for this is non-inverting whatever v that we supply here let me call it v in v in that we supply should be uh, should okay v out that goes out should be v in i think that should be one plus r f all over r1 think something like this if i'm not mistaken we can check the previous video i think we derived this so but now we don't know what is our v in because we have a lot of v's going in here we don't know which is which so let's just take this put it somewhere hopefully we'll need it in future let me just place it here remind me where i put it okay now we can try to solve we're going to use superposition first we'll assume that what if we are grounding here or if we are grounding v2 then we'll have v in we'll have v in one let me call it let me call it va which is going to equal to um, i'm going to do a ratio the resistance that is left will be resistor two resistor two Oh no, other way around. Resistor 1 all over R2 plus R1 multiplied by the supply voltage of which is 1. Okay. And that is what if we, that, is, that would be a condition if we grounded this one. So let's put that aside. Let's try. What if we grounded this side? If we ground to that side, that means we'll be supplying this way. So, um, voltage at, let me call it V beam, should equal to resistor 2 all over resistor 2 plus uh, resistor 1 multiplied by the supply voltage, voltage. Supply voltage now should be V2. And by superposition, because I said we'd be using superposition, V in the voltage goes here should equal to V A plus V B. It's more of like we're assuming that this this supply is dead, and then assume that this one is dead. So for V in and whatever answer that we get, we sum those answers to give us the actual V in if they are both in. So now we know V in to be V in to be R1 all over R2 plus R1 V1 that I'm subbing that here and then I have sub that here plus R2 all over R2 plus R1 V2 so this is our v in also on the beginning of the video we took something this is what we started with we started on this ground we know this and then let's bring it down here to use it let's bring this here what is this thing saying for the voltage that will be going out will be v in v in is all this complicated stuff v i mean r2 uh, all over r2 plus r1 v1 plus r i think that's supposed to be r1 r2 all over r2 plus r1 close not yet v2 then close and that will be open now we are writing okay 
let me change my color now we are writing this so that will be um one plus r f all over r one yes but in this case i think my r one is r two then i think you have to use r two here also i think i have two r twos so <laughs> let me use r three then make this one r three because now i'm going to that i have two r twos cool then if you notice very well th this thing here is this thing the purple and the purple and um that's this v in is this whole v in the yellow one everything that is yellow is v in so you can do a lot of math solve it uh, i mean simplify it other way around to get to your desired uh orientation but this for me satisfies me you can look at things like common factors and what's not but yeah after all this is your mathematical expression you can do it the other way around thank you don't forget to share and subscribe